We're going to explain how to enable joystick support in Infinite Flight Simulator. First, make sure you have a compatible joystick connected to your device. This usually involves plugging it into a USB port, if on a computer, or connecting it via Bluetooth on mobile devices or tablets. 1. Open Infinite Flight Simulator. 2. Once the simulator is loaded and you're on the main menu, tap the settings icon, often represented by a gear or cogwheel. This icon's location might vary slightly depending on your device and Infinite Flight version, but it's always in the main menu. 3. In the settings menu, you'll need to locate the controls section. This section might be called controls, flight controls, or something similar. Should be fairly easy to find. Look for options relating to how you interact with the flight controls. 4. Within the controls section, look for an option related to input devices. This might be named something like input devices, controllers, or hardware. 5. Tap on the input devices, controllers, or hardware option. You should now see a list of available input methods such as touchscreen, keyboard, and potentially other gamepads. 6. If your joystick is detected correctly, you should see it listed here. If not, make sure your joystick is properly connected and the necessary drivers are installed, especially crucial for PC users. If you're on a mobile device, ensure Bluetooth is enabled and the device is paired correctly. Sometimes you might need to restart the app or even your device after connecting the joystick. 7. If your joystick appears in the list, select it. The game should now recognize the joystick as the primary control input method. If you only want to use the joystick for some functions and touchscreen for others, you might need to configure specific joystick axes and buttons within Infinite Flight's control mapping settings. 8. Infinite Flight might have further control settings to customize your joystick input. These usually allow you to assign specific joystick functions like pitch, roll, yaw, throttle to different joystick axes and buttons. Experiment with these settings to find the most comfortable and intuitive setup for your flying experience. 9. After configuring your controls, take a test flight to check that your joystick is working correctly. If your joystick doesn't work as expected, review your settings and ensure the joystick is properly connected and recognized by the system. If problems persist, consult Infinite Flight's support documentation or community forums for further assistance. Remember, the exact menu structure might differ slightly between Infinite Flight versions, so refer to the in-app menu options and settings for clarification.